Let us now take a short quiz to test our understanding of the concepts which have been covered this far. <clears throat> Inventories are assets held. The options are as below. A. For sale in the ordinary course of business. In the production process for such sale. In the form of materials or supplies to be consumed in the production process or in the rendering of services. And D. All of the above. Inventories are assets which are held in the ordinary course of business. This is, we are referring to finished goods. In the production process for such sale, we are referring to the work in progress in the process, production process. In the form of materials or supplies to be consumed in the production process. This is actually, they are talking of the raw materials. Therefore, the answer should be, all of the above because inventories include raw materials, include work in progress, include finished goods. So our answer should be D, all of the above. Inventories are assets held. Option D, all of the above is right. <clears throat> Next. Cost of goods sold is equal to option A, opening stock plus total purchases, opening stock plus total purchases minus closing stock plus direct costs, closing stock plus total purchases and D, opening stock minus total purchases plus closing stock. Which should be the correct answer? Cost of goods sold. <clears throat> cost of goods sold. Let's consider all the options. Cost of goods sold is opening stock plus purchases. No, if there are no direct costs, opening stock plus purchases would actually be the cost of the goods available for sale. Not really the cost of goods sold. What about the B option? Opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock plus direct costs. That appears to be the correct answer because we have done cost of goods sold is opening stock plus purchases plus direct costs less closing stock. Other options are closing stock plus total purchases, opening stock minus total purchases plus closing stock. So 2B should be the correct answer. If closing inventory is overstated, it will result in option A, net income for the period to be overstated, cost of goods sold to be understated, option C says both A and B and D says none of these. What should be the right option? We've discussed before that if closing inventory is overstated, it would result in increased profits. So let us just go through the options. A, it says net income for the period would be overstated. That's right. Cost of goods sold would be understated. Yes, that's right. Because what is cost of goods sold? As per our equation, cost of goods sold was opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. So basically, if closing inventory is overstated, if closing inventory is overstated, the cost would come down since closing stock is reduced, is a minus item while computing cost of goods sold. So both A and B appears to be right. That is if closing inventory is overstated, higher the closing stock, higher would be the profits and lower would be the cost of goods sold. Therefore, a correct option should be both A and B, that is option C. 
three C should be the correct option. Fourth question: If closing stock is undervalued by rupees ten thousand, and opening stock is overvalued by ten thousand, then the impact on the gross profit of the business would be a gross profit undervalued by ten thousand, b gross profit overstated by ten thousand. Gross profit undervalued by twenty thousand, and D. There will be no impact on gross profit. What should be the right option? If closing stock is undervalued by ten thousand, what would happen is that the profit. Would also be undervalued, or profit would come down by ten thousand. Now, opening stock is overvalued by ten thousand. When opening stock is overvalued, the cost increases, so the profit again comes down by ten thousand. The net effect of both of the undervaluation of the closing stock combined with overvaluation of opening stock will give us. An understating of profit, less profits by ten plus ten, twenty thousand. Let us look at the options. Option A is gross profit undervalued by ten thousand, gross profit overstated by ten thousand, gross profit undervalued by twenty thousand. Option C should be right. There is no impact on gross profit. Is also wrong. Therefore, our correct option should be. For C, gross profit undervalued by rupees twenty thousand. Next question: Find out the value of closing stock when opening stock is equal to seventy thousand, purchase equal to four lakh sixteen thousand, sales five lakh twenty two thousand, gross profit earned. Twenty-five percent of cost. A option sixty-eight thousand four hundred. B option thirty-six thousand. C option ninety-four five hundred. And D, none of these. You will need to make a computation. Gross profit is twenty-five percent of cost. However, sales figure is given to us. Therefore, let us see what is the gross profit margin on cost. This would involve some computation. If you like, you could pause the movie, make the computation, and check the answer. Since gross profit earned is twenty five percent of cost, and the sales figure is given to us. Let us try and find out what is the gross profit margin on sales. If cost is hundred, gross profit is twenty five. Therefore, sales would be one twenty five. Gross profit on sales would be equal to twenty five by one twenty five, or One fifth of sales. Sales is equal to five lakh twenty two thousand. Therefore, gross profit is one fifth of sales, one fifth of five lakh twenty two thousand, which is equal to one lakh four thousand four hundred. We need to find out closing stock. If sales is five lakh twenty two thousand, gross profit is one lakh four thousand four hundred. Cost of goods sold is equal to five lakh twenty two thousand less one lakh four thousand four hundred, giving us. Four lakh seventeen thousand six hundred. 
cost of goods sold is 4,17,600. Cost of goods sold is equal to opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. Or closing stock is equal to opening stock plus purchases minus cost of goods sold. That's equal to 70,000 opening stock plus 4,16,000 purchases minus 4,17,600 cost of goods sold. That gives us 68,400. Option A, 68,400 should be the value of closing stock. What we did here is the gross profit earned percentage has been given on cost and sales information on sales given. Therefore, we found out the gross profit margin on the cost of goods sold. We went on to find out the cost of goods sold and using the equation then moved on to find out closing stock. Answer A, 68,400.